uh, welcome uh, Kunal uh, first of all congratulations for your indefinite leave to remain for your family uh, so I mean it was initially refused I believe and then uh, you approached us and we finally got uh, the uh, ILR so uh, can you just uh, elaborate the whole story Kunal yes yeah okay so I think what happened is I uh, I came here in 2016 uh, September so I have qualified for indefinite leave after five years. That was September 2021. And um, I applied for, for that. And uh, I got it in five days because I applied for a um, fast track. Uh, because I had to stop my, I had to start my another job. So I had to start for it, uh, you know, by February. So I didn't want to wait longer. Now, my wife and my daughter joined me uh, in January 2017. So they qualified it uh, for it only in 2022. February. So that, that's the time when they qualified for it. Now, because I already had indefinite leave, when these two guys applied, when my wife and my daughter applied, I already had a, a indefinite leave. So I think maybe the confusion at that time, what happened is when I when we put in the application, they considered it as somebody applying for indefinite leave uh, based on my indefinite leave, rather than considering five years of uh, stay in the UK. And I think that's the reason why it was refused. And uh, that's when uh, we decided to go through, through you. And um, I think it all worked well. Uh, I think you, your advice was really important because I, I, I did go to some, somebody else earlier before coming to you. It was mainly like a telephonic appointment. And uh, the advice that we had was really bad. Um, they said, yeah, just do with just, just do whatever the immigration, uh, sorry, whatever the um, UK border, whatever the immigration uh, department tells. You. And I thought, I mean, that's not the advice I'm looking for. I know what's written in the emails. So if you're going to tell me the same thing, what's the point? Uh, I want to know whether there is any mistake. And if there is a mistake, is it something that can be rectified? Uh, can we reapply? Do we have to go through some alternative route? And I think we got all those answers when we uh, came to you. And um, uh, uh, I think, yeah, uh, we can see that's, I think, four months, three, four months it took for them to approve the uh, indefinite leave. And I think it's all gone through really well. So, yeah, very happy about it. And and so, yeah, for finally, finally, you are a relieved person with that. So, you, you are in, uh, you are working as a doctor, Kunali. Yes, I am. And the thank, thank you very much for taking out uh, some time for this testimony and uh, no look, we're looking forward for your British passports after this, after a year. Thank you. Absolutely. It takes about a year, isn't it? Yes, it is. It uh, is. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> take, take, take care. Pranam. Thank you. Have a good rest of your evening. You too. Take so enjoy, enjoy with your family and uh, enjoy the happy news and uh, enjoy your Christmas coming up. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You too. Bye-bye.